How's it going fellow pickers? For this video lesson we're going to take a look at how to play a Herschel Sizemore tune called Lee's Reel on the mandolin. Herschel Sizemore is like the king of clean, especially when it comes to using his pinky. And he showcases that really well in this tune on the B section. So if you find that your pinky feels clunky or that you're not as fluid as you like, this will be a really good tune for you to kind of even that out. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to go over the chords and then we'll go over the melody uh, as well as the scales that it uses. I'll put the tab and sheet music right here on the page, but if you'd like to find those to print out, you can go to my Patreon page and find those there. You'll also be able to get into a giveaway for the shirts that I've designed. We've only got a couple days left before I uh, draw the name for that. So with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the tune. So let's take a look at the chords. This tune is using a basic 1-4-5 pattern, which means that it's going to be building chords off of the 1st, 4th, and 5th notes of the scale. Since this is in the key of D, that would be D for 1, obviously, E, F, G is 4, and A is 5. So I'm just going to play through it. You can follow along. I'll put the chord charts right up here on the screen. 1, 2, 3, 4, D. section G D A D G D A D G D A D G D A So before we jump into any melody, we should make sure that we know the scale that the tune is in. So in this case, like I said before, this is in the key of D, and that has two sharps. It has F sharp and C sharp. So what we want to do is we want to start on the lowest possible note on our instrument, in this case G, or open G, and run up the scale so that we cover any note that might come up in the tune. So the D scale, starting on our open G, will be G0, A on 2, B on 4, C sharp on 6, open D, E2, F sharp on 4, G on 5, open A, B on 2, C sharp on 4, D on 5, open E, F sharp on 2, G on 3, A on 5, B on 7, C sharp on 9, and D on 10. All right, so we're going to take a look at the A section. The nice thing about this is that it has this one recurring theme that keeps coming up. And then really the whole A section could be repeated um, from the first half, but Herschel Sizemore does do some variations the second time he plays it, so we'll kind of cover those as well. So like we said before, the A section has this recurring theme. We're going to break it up into two sections. The first section will sound like this. The second section will sound like this. So we're starting with two pickup notes, the B on the fourth fret of G and the C sharp on the sixth fret. Then the open D, play the F sharp on fret four. Then open D, walk up to the F sharp. So you have D, E, F sharp, or zero, two, four. Play the B on fret two of A, and then the open A. And that's the first half of this recurring theme. The next half starts with the C sharp into D, so fret 4 to fret 5, 
open E, F sharp on fret 2, A on 5, back down to F sharp. Then open E, then D on fret 5 of your A string, and then B on fret 2 of your A string. So the whole thing together. And then the first ending that he puts after that recurring lick uh, sounds like this. And that brings us to our first half cadence. So you're starting on an open A and just walking up to D. So you have A, B, C sharp, D, or 0, 2, 4, 5. And then a quarter note E. And then a quarter note C sharp on fret 4 of your A string. Then back to E, C sharp, and a triplet. Uh, so B, C sharp, B, or 2, 4, 2 on your A string. And then open A. Then you go back to that recurring lick. But this time, instead of going down to that B, you're going to go up to the F sharp on the second fret of your E string. And play that little, that, that second ending idea. So that starts on your G on fret 3. Walk down to E, so 3, 2, 0, or G, F sharp, E. Down to D on the 5th fret of your A, and then C sharp on fret 4. And then from there, you're walking up from your open A uh, to the D. So you have 0, 2, 4, 5, or A, B, C sharp, D, and then a little tail, which is just B, A on your uh, A string, so 2, 0, F sharp on fret 4 of your D string, and then open D. So that's the first half of your A section. You could just play that one more time, but Herschel Sizemore does have some variations that he puts in when he repeats it. So let's take a look at those. The second half of the A section starts with the same recurring lick, but the ending changes. He kind of simplifies it a bit. So he's playing an open A and an open E, playing the C sharp on the fourth fret of A, again with the open E, and then playing unison E. So he's playing the E on the seventh fret of his A string, and the open E again. Then back to your C sharp, and then open E, C sharp, the triplet idea that happened in the first half, which is B, C sharp, B, or 2, 4, 2, open A. And then going back to that opening lick or that same recurring lick, but it kind of changes right at the end. So instead of going down from there, that's where you're going to end it. And you're going to go back up to your A on the 5th fret of your E string, to the F sharp, and then go to the G on the 3rd fret of E, down to F sharp, and then D on fret 5 of your A string, back to the F sharp. Then open E, C sharp on fret 4, Open A, back to C sharp, and then D on fret 5, B on fret 2, open A, F sharp on fret 4 of D, and then open D. Let's play through the A section together. I'm going to take it at 85 beats per minute. If you need to go slower, you can go to the gear icon or the three dots if you're on a phone or iOS system or whatever, um, and go to playback speed and set it at a slower setting. But for now, we'll do it at 85. One, two, one, two, three.
All right, so the B section is a little bit more of a stretch for your fingers. And that's why this tune is so good for building up your pinky. So let's take a look. The B section is much more repetitive than the A section. The first two parts are gonna happen over and over. And then the next two sections after that will change for the first part and the second part. So the first little bit there, we're starting on the third fret of our E string, playing the G. And we're gonna play G, A, B, C, B, A, G, or three, five, seven, eight, seven, five, three, and then an open E. And you're gonna use that open E to shift your pointer finger down to the second fret. And from there, you're gonna play F sharp, G, A, B, A, F sharp, D, F sharp, or two, three, five, seven, five, two, five of the A string, back up to two on the E string. And then from here, uh, things start to change uh, between the first run through or the first portion of it and the second portion of it. So you play open E, F sharp, G, or zero, two, three, open E, F sharp on two, open E, C sharp on the fourth fret of your A string, and then open E again. And the fourth section, is starting on your D, so the uh, fifth fret of your A string, D, open E, F sharp on two, G on three, and then A on the uh, fifth fret of E, back to the F sharp on the second fret, back to the D, and then back to the F sharp. And that's the first, uh, first portion of your B section. So, Getting into the next portion, the first two phrases stay the same. And then here, we have an ending that's gonna be similar to the way that we ended uh, the A section. So we're starting on the G on the third fret of our E, F sharp on the second fret, open E. Then go down to your A string, play D, on fret five, C sharp on four, and then open A, B on two, C sharp, D. So uh, zero, two, four, five. And then here, the little tail, B on two, open A, F sharp on four of D, and then open D. If you play through that two times, you'll have your B section. So let's run through all of that together. We're gonna to take the B section at 85 beats per minute, do the whole thing. Uh, and remember, if you need something slower, you can go into your settings and adjust your playback speed. One, two, one, two, three, 